Whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. <laughs> Shout out to Methods, man. Um, every time I go do there, they show me love. I've been to Methods, had some big ass barbecue ribs. You know, every time I check in, I check in with my boys. You know, um, I got I got a guy that uh, is from Memphis, and you know, he gave me the keys to the city when I stayed there for a while. And you know, he showed me love. And everybody in Memphis, they show me love, man. So shout out to Down South Memphis, you know. And you gotta be proud if you're from Memphis and you got a guy like John Morant on your side. Hey, Joker, take notes. This is how you close games out when the pressure is tight. All right. On the road against a young team that should have won the game in the uh, Minnesota T-Wolves. They gave Memphis all they could handle. But John Morant kept his poise and was able to close these guys out in six. Being guarded by the noose that is Pat Bev. Okay? Um, dealing with Anthony Edwards, who was really upset with this loss. You could see how he tuck it. Uh, that's another Jordan trait. You know, Jordan couldn't stand losing. And you see Anthony Edwards was really upset with a loss. You know, he wasn't dancing. He wasn't smiling like a lot of other these superstars. He was really upset. So shout out to him. It's a lesson learned. Come back better next season. Now, here's the thing. Look at what the hell's going on with these dogs. Anyway, <clears throat> John Morant. All right. He's arrived. He's not even in his prime. And he's doing his thing. He's already going to the second round. And he's going to have home court advantage against the Golden State Warriors. This is going to be one of his toughest challenges. But this is going to be a tough challenge for the Golden State Warriors too. Because if one of these guys get taken out the series, like a Jordan Poole, if he don't show up or some of these role players don't show up, it's going to be a long night for the Golden State Warriors. You know, this is not Denver we're talking about. You're talking about a more faster, younger athletic team that could guard some of these guys. So it's gonna be troublesome for the Golden State Warriors. This is gonna be probably going to seven games. But I gotta give John Moran his credit, man. He stepped up like a superstar. That playoff basketball is about closing games out. If you can't close games out, you're gonna have a hard time winning games. That's what it all comes down to, all right? And whenever you're dealing with um, playoff basketball, you're facing a good team every night. So you got to execute right, and you got to close teams out, period. Um, John Morant led his team to victory. He did what he did. He outplayed Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards. And moving forward, the T-Wolves going to have to do something with Carl Anthony Towns, man. They may have to trade that guy. He's just too inconsistent. And I hope that you don't want him to be the face of your franchise. You know what I'm saying? Because if he is the face of your franchise, you may have problems moving forward, you know? But nevertheless, um, Memphis, he got one with John Morant. He's, he's looking like he's going to be a bright future for you guys. Continue to build your team around him and do the right thing, and you may end up getting a chip with this guy in the near future. Who knows? They may end up going to the finals this year if they play at a great level and keep it up. Um, Prince Sports out. Peace.